Hey guys, welcome back to Brandon Does Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you how I trim a full packer brisket. So I got this 17 and a half pound prime brisket from Sam's Club and you could just throw it on a smoker but there's so much fat, there's a lot of stuff that's going to burn up. You don't want it. You're going to spend a lot of time on this cut of meat. You want to make sure you take the time to trim it properly. So let's get started. So normally what I do is I'll start with the fat cap sitting on the cutting board, work on this side. And basically what you're looking for is you want to get rid of any of the thick, hard pieces of fat, any odd extremities that are hanging off like this. So like the first one right here, there's this thick hunk of fat. We don't want that. That's not going to render. So we're going to just go ahead and remove that. All right, so the next one is we got this weird lump thing going on. That's just not going to cook evenly. It's mostly fat. We want to make this thing as aerodynamic as possible, and that's just going to kind of inhibit that. So just go ahead and get rid of it. Now we got this really hard piece of fat here. That's not going to do much. We're not going to cut all of it out just because we want something uh, to help support this brisket, but all this other thick stuff that are hanging out, we'll just go ahead and trim away. So this is the really hard fat that you don't want. It's not going to render. So we're just going to go ahead and cut that out. Now if it goes in too deep, you can go ahead and leave it just so you don't have this gaping hole in there. But for the most part, I mean, I cut off probably about mm, an inch of fat right there. Now you'll notice we got some discoloration right here on the edge of the brisket. That's, you know, just from where it was processed, where the, the blade went through. We don't want that. I mean, it kind of looks gross. So I'm gonna just go ahead, I'm gonna start right about there, make a mark, and we'll probably end right about there. So just connect the dots. Now we got a little bit more fat up here, it's just colored. Anything that doesn't look good, just go ahead and get rid of it. Just be careful not to pull any meat off. Try to get the most bang for your buck. Now, you could be very finicky about this, you could pick at every little bit, but this isn't competition barbecue, so we're not going to stress over it. Otherwise, we'd be out here all night. So, next, we'll go ahead and flip it. Now, if you look closely, I mean, you just got thick layer of fat here. You want to trim it down to where it's about a quarter of an inch. Because, I mean, like, that's just pretty unnecessary. It's going to be hard to render all that down. So, just do a little bit at a time and get to trim. So we're about halfway through. You see this nice pillowy fat. That's the good stuff. Um, you can see all this other discolored stuff that's just been exposed to the elements. You want to get rid of all that. You want to try to have as much of that pillowy white fat on top. It's a little time consuming, a little tedious, but it's worth it in the long run. So keep shaving away. So you can see the fat got pretty thin up here. We started to expose that flesh. So I'm not going to worry about that fat right there. If it's too thin, just leave it. Just try to get the tip of the blade in there. Very thin layer and then just kind of pull the blade up. And then just slide it forward. Alright, I think I'm pretty happy with this side. Now we kind of want to shape it up. So, uh, So if you look really close here on the point it's very thin. I mean, it's like 
it's super thin if you compare it to the other side nice and thick that thin part is just gonna burn up basically it'll just dry up and curl up so we don't really want it so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of it Yeah, that little thin spot I think we'll just go ahead and kind of round that off looks like we still got one of those discolored spots that we missed we'll go ahead and trim that off got that little spot hanging there probably it's gonna burn up go ahead and get rid of that all right so I'm pretty much done with this brisket I kind of got it shaped the way I want I want it fairly aerodynamic and want that smoke to be able to just roll over it tip before you go and season and throw it in kind of see where the grain's going so on here the grain is going that way and find kind of like a markers to remember that for when you go to slice so for example i've got this part trimmed and this part is pointed so i'm going to remember that the point is the one going with the grain so that when i go to slice i know to go against it hopefully you learned a little something today that'll help you on your future brisket cooks and remember take it from me it's always better to trim it the night before and if you'd like to see how I cook this brisket, check out our smoked brisket video. Now remember, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you next time.